Hi everyone, uh, my name is Yu Hui Lin. Uh, today I'm going to tell something about the uh, uh, development in Brazil. Uh, it's a brief introduction. So, uh, as we know, uh, Brazil is a fast developing country and is playing an increasingly important role in the international irony. Um, uh, actually, what Brazil, what happened in Brazil, could be applied to our own country's experience. Um, so, uh, the, uh, Brazil is the world's is the world's fifth largest by its uh, geographical area and population, uh, and uh, is the world's eighth largest uh, by its nominal GDP. And uh, so let's see what it has achieved in recent years. Uh, first, uh, from 2000 to 2012, uh, uh, the average annual GDP growth is was almost uh, five percent, and uh, it has lit uh, around forty million people out of poverty. And uh, so, why can Brazil make such great achievements? I think, firstly, um, it it has rich natural resources such as the mineral resources, and secondly, the cheap labor force is a very important adv advantage which uh, boost the manufacturing industry. Uh, and this is a very common face in developing countries, I think, like, uh, I mean, the labor-intensive industry. And uh, uh, thirdly, uh, the government investment in health uh, and the direct poverty reduction pro activities um, played a major role in its uh, development process. And uh, I think there's much, uh, much uh, for other developing countries to learn from Brazil's experience, uh, especially for countries such as uh, Zambia, which hasn't translated its econom economic growth into uh, real poverty reduction, and uh, countries like Nigeria, which has seen its uh, inequality dramatically widened over the past 20 years. And while others are praising uh, Brazil for its resilience to the financial crisis and its sound economic management, and Brazil, uh, in 2013, Brazil's economic growth has decelerated, and uh, the economy in Brazil is, is expected to shrink by around 2.5 percent in this uh, this year, uh, and uh, uh, Brazil's currency lost about 13 percent of its value against U.S. dollars. Uh, its credit rating was da uh, downgraded to triple B in uh, the, in 2014, and uh, the junk status would make it. Uh, make it harder to and more expensive for Brazil to borrow money, which will uh, accelerate this problem. So, and in addition, the environmental problems in Brazil is also very serious. And uh, for example, around 20% of its uh, rainforest has been destroyed, and the highway construction uh, uh, around the Amazonia forest has accelerated the rate, rates of the deforestation. Uh, besides, uh, people who make their livelihood on the Amazonia Basin has uh, uh, faced a variety of environmental problems such as the pollution from mining and uh, agricultural runoff and uh, the water, water silting problems caused by deforestation. So, uh, in conclusion, Brazil is a fast developing country which has developed very fast in the, fast, uh, in the past few years, but uh, problems are now showing up. So I think uh, it should face these problems and deal with things in order to build a better future, and our countries should learn from Brazil's experiences. So that's all, thank you.
what accounts for the decline in Brazil's trajectory? I mean, it was going up and up and up, and then all of a sudden... Uh, okay. Because it has developed at a very fast uh, rate, and uh, I think it brought many money from maybe from other countries, so the debt is oh, very debt. high. Okay. And uh, actually, it has worried about his uh, credit rating status for a very long time. So there is much risk, but it just like happened at that time. Okay. And like there's, uh, I think there are some concerns about its future, economic future, and the currency yeah. and uh, its leadership. And there are many corruptions, uh, scandals tied to its political parties. So that may be a problem. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. So is it really safe to? apply the lessons taken from the Brazil case even before the uh, its economy collapsed. Is it okay to uh, apl apply the lesson, if any, from that to any other country if it is supposed to decline at some point from I don't know reason? Oh, I think it depends. We should, uh, we should apply some good aspects of its experience to other countries. Uh, like it's uh, development in manufacturing industry, uh, like uh, I think the most important thing is the government investment. Uh, the government plays a very important role in its development. So I think uh, this part is uh, can be applied to other developing countries. Okay. Thank you.